Hi guys, my name is Lee. I'm the curriculum manager for sports and dance. On the dance course, we look at loads of different disciplines such as um, street, contemporary, you'll be looking at ballet, you'll be looking at jazz, you'll be looking at international dance. So a whole different aspects of dance will include. Today though, I'm gonna break down the wave for you. Now the wave is a technique that we use in street. I'm gonna break it down into eight counts and then I'll show you how we can use it and we'll incorporate it into routine and stuff. So, first thing we do, we stand on our feet hip width apart, gonna bring out your right hand, your right arm. Now it's a full count for the first part. So we go one. So what happens is your wrist just drops, your fingers point to the floor. Now for two, your elbow is gonna go to the ceiling, your hand's gonna come in. Two. Yeah, so we recap that. Goes one, two. Three is just your shoulder coming to your ear. Three. Nice and simple. One, two, three. That's the first part. Now, one, two, three, four is our chest. Four. Nice and simple. Five, we come to the shoulder. Five, six, seven, eight. So it just comes through onto the other side. I'll break that down one more time and then we'll speed it up and see how we can use it. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I know it doesn't look much like a wave, it's quite static, but then when you speed it up, boom, yeah, it comes through. So each part is broken down into the arms. So we're here, 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 here. Now you see that's one. I started my fingers, point down, here, here, here. It transfers, boom, 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 boom. That's the fundamental to how to break down the wave. Now you can make it rigid, so you boom, 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 tap, tap. It can come through like that, or you can make it flow, like so. Now it doesn't have to just come on where you can play with it any way you want, but it's the same fundamentals and the same basics that we go through, breaking it down. Now you might say, I can't wave, I can't do that, how do you do that? But that's, that's how you start and that's how you teach yourself simple. Wherever you are, just do that. One, two, three, four. As soon as you work on one side, come out to the second side. One, two, one, two, three, four. One side is easier than the other side, so you have to practice. Now, anything you do with dance is about performing, making sure that you're down full out. And if you're adding that into a routine, say we're doing a routine and we've got one, two, we can add it in three, uh, four. Yeah, so it's nice and easy. Or say we've got a move here, boom, 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 here, tap, 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 you bring it out. Now you saw that I included the legs. The way that can work is we've got our wave, then it comes down into this leg to come back up. It's about playing around, it's about experimenting, it's about having fun with it. Now as I said, you might not get it straight away, but you just need to practice. Practice, and the more you come through, it'll become easier. You've got to imagine it as water flowing through your body with electricity. So I know we broke it down, it's quite stagnant, it's quite rigid, but you have to make sure that you can get it each count to break it through. So these are the kind of things we'll be teaching you on the course, how to wave, and then the more we do it, the more you'll improve like anything, the more you practice, the more you become perfect. Now, we've got the side wave, you can add it forward, this is exactly the same thing. One, two, three, you roll the shoulders, the body ripple to bring it back up. So that's the next stage that we'll look at and incorporate that in there and such on and such forth. So, practice your waves, we'll see you in September.